Well, hey, YouTube subscribers. Uh, it's been quite a while since I posted on here. Uh, of course, I've had some sort of uh, cold or or uh, low vet or some type of something that's making me not feel well the way I normally do when things are going well. But now I got something on my mind and I was hoping my my YouTube uh, subscribers, I mean, you people are like my family, could, could help me out. So, so I've stumbled upon... Uh, maybe three or four acres and I I need to get uh, I, well I need to get rid of them I have no use for that and I, I'm not trained and uh, skilled and in dealing with acres in any way so uh, four or five that's uh, I think one acre would be uh, too much for me uh, that you know I, as far as the upkeep the management I you know I I just never I don't think I got the money to uh, to even handle it. So if anybody out there knows or, or wants to uh, know what to do with four or five or maybe it's three, I can, uh, I'll try to tally that in a minute. But uh, maybe three acres or so. Uh, I asked Eileen about it, and I don't think she really understood what I was uh, talking about. It's, it's pretty... Uh, plain language i'm using i you know i i don't understand what the why it's confusing and you know even i have returned to work uh scooping dirt for mr john and i i have been making uh pretty pennies uh or a pretty penny a few pretty pennies he he always gets his pennies and and money he pays me with uh straight from the bank roll so straight from the uh, from the donut roll. I mean, they come out of the uh, the package. Uh, I don't think a a person's hands ever touched on his pennies, uh, but but they're nice and shiny. Uh, the whatever gold they're made with, uh, brown gold, I uh, believe. But uh, but he gives me the he. I get a pretty penny or two uh, from him. It's not as much as I used to make uh, before I was fired for. For, for, for fooling around on the job uh, my idea i've had to put on the back binger and uh, i'm not going to be able to uh, compete with the u.s post service uh, as i told my loyal uh, youtube subscribers you all uh, it would be a great idea because uh, you know u.s postal service is a private company and uh, i could compete with them and out compete them and uh, you know roller skate up and down the road and I'll deliver the U.S. mail. But uh, anyway, I'm just trying to make ends meet. And I'm working, uh, scooping dirt and manure. Uh, mostly manure. Uh, whatever that is, I still don't know. Nobody nobody seems to want to know. Or want to tell me. But anyway, uh, back to these acres. I mean, most people tell me, they come up and they say, Well, you lucky. You know, you lucky. You just, uh, to stumble upon... Uh, you know, to have uh, a few acres just presented themselves in your life at one time is, well, that's that's a that's fortunate. You know, that's a that's a windfall for you, and you should be happy. I mean, and they said I could sell them if I didn't want them because I told them I don't really need or, or want them or have the time or skill or understanding uh, or wherewithal to to really uh to take care of the acres and they said well sell them i said well that that doesn't sound right to me and then they get confused they say well if you don't like your acres and you know but you're not willing to sell them give them away i said well i can't give them away either that that wouldn't be right either i said i gotta come up with a better way so they everybody's confused i'm starting to get confused to a really simple problem uh, so I was hoping people could post in the comments and help me make sense of what to do. Uh, once again, I've had to repeat myself, it seems, uh, infant tent, infant tent times to get my point across. Uh, but anyway, I got, uh, I don't even know. I'd have to think, let's see, one, a two, and a three, uh, with, I got th maybe four, but I know three acres 
that I don't want and I don't need that I have stumbled upon in my life. And uh, I don't want anything to do with caring for them acres. So if somebody could post comments uh, and help me, uh, one of them, uh, one of the uh, acres, by the way, is, uh, well, he's my, he's my father. And I don't really speak to him that much anyway, but he can hardly walk. He's got uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and he's he's aching all day long. So I told him he can't come live in this trailer uh, with me and Eileen because on account of we don't have room, and there's no way, Jose, that he's going to be sleeping in this bed uh, between Irene and myself. I said, maybe you could sleep on the end on the end with Eileen, uh, so not so me and then Eileen and then you, but you ain't sleeping in the middle because I think you kind of he kind of shaped like Santa Claus. So I'm afraid as I'm sleeping in the night, I might roll up on that belly of his or he could roll on me. I mean, you got a ball in a bed, see, it's physics, it's physical. You got a ball in a bed, it roll, it roll me, it can roll Eileen. So if he's on the other end, farthest away from me, I told him, I said, that's the way, that's the way you do it. And he said, the only way he'd do that is if he's on the right side of the bed, looking at the bed. So he said, look, look at the bed, son. I'm going to get on the right side and then Eileen will be in the middle and then you on the left. He said, the only way I'll do it this way is if I can face to the left. And I said, well, that's fine if it, if I decide to let you sleep in our bed. But I don't understand why it matters which side you face when you're in the bed. But uh, anyway, I told him I don't think it's going to work. I can't deal with an acre right now. And then, and then of course, his he has a girlfriend now. And I did say I was proud of him for that because he hasn't been with a girl. He hasn't uh, he hasn't been with a girl like with a girl uh, in 20 years. And so he met this girl down there at the local carnival, uh, not too far from where we live. And uh, to me, it's like a winter or fall wonderland. They got, uh, they got elephant airs and, and uh, candied apples and, and rides. And I don't do some of them rides. I'm, I think I'd uh, throw up in my britches if, if you get my drift. But uh, they got some of them up there, and they even had a helicopter to fly a few years ago. Fly you around, it fly you around, it fly you around. I uh, don't understand how that works, because uh, I thought airplanes have to have a runway and whatnot, and and and, and gain speed like this, and then they take off like this. They kind of go like this, and then they take off somehow like that. But this this airplane called a it's called a helicopter, and it just it kind of crazy it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and somehow takes off and, and can stay floating. I mean, it's just in the air floating. Well, anyway, uh, so so that girl he he's uh he he's uh he's laying down with is uh she's twenty years older than he is, so she she's elderly. She she uh she's actually in a wheelchair and. And so she's got really bad medical issues and is in a lot of pain. And see, they both wanted to come live with me and I can't do nothing with two acres. And I hadn't talked to my dad in, in five years and he shows up at my front door uh, with a bag of beef jerky, which I tell you, I'll tell you right now, you two subscribers, you guys are my family. When I saw that brand name, uh, beef jerky, I almost said, come on in, stay as long as you want. But I realized even though you can stretch out your jerky, you can stretch your jerky. Uh, you can pull that jerky and stretch it for, for quite a while. But I told him, I said, I, I, I have to think about this, uh, Daddy, Daddy D. That's what I've always called my dad is Daddy D. But we, uh, there's another, there's a uh, co-worker uh, that worked down there on the farm uh, helping me scoop dirt. Uh, her name is Shasta or Shista or Sister or uh, Spasta. I don't know what her name is. It's something like that. I'm not, I've never been good at names. See, but she uh, she says she's got some type of uh, 
ailing problem from a uh, a bad back or something that's hard for her to do the scooping and wanting to know if if she could come stay in my place. She's homeless, see. And so she, the medicine she takes, she gets off the street. So she's fine. She, it's not like she's always in pain. And now she says for some reason I will never understand. It seems almost inhuman to me. These evil people had an intervention for her about this drug that's actually helping her on the street to get her to get off of it. The one drug that's helping her back pain and her other pains, they told her, you need to get off. That's no good for you. And I think these people are uh, uh, the devil's tricksters, as they say in church. As they've said in church about some people I know. Well, besides these people who I really don't know. But, to, see, that's evil in the world. But I told her, I said, I can't help you. I don't have time, and I don't want people complaining being in my household. Because it's my house. It's my rights. And and uh, that's, that's the liberty we were uh, born with in our belly. But uh, anyway, YouTube subscribers, uh, I'm going to have a long day at work tomorrow. Irene's going to have a long day at work tomorrow. I'm scooping dirt tomorrow. She's doing her normal job. She, I don't like it. I think she does like it. Uh, but she she sees she, she's she got clients pretty much all day lined up from 8 in the morning to about 7 at night. So I don't see her that much. And, and boy, you try... I try to get a little romance, and she's, well, I don't know how to put this. She's she's tired from the day, and out of anything she doesn't want to do, that would probably be uh, number one. So our romance is a little suffering, too. And uh, she comes home with these funny, fancy smells on her. I don't understand half of what goes on at her job, but I do understand some of it and, and have done some of it. But anyway, I hope everybody's uh, doing good. Uh, today is actually Halloween, and uh, people keep knocking on my door. Not sure why. Uh, never have understood that. I, it's a scare tactic, probably the uh, to spook you. You know, boo-hoo. Uh, well, boo-hoo means cry. Well, maybe to get you to cry. Well, YouTube subscribers, uh, please uh, click on the subscribe link on my channel. Uh, well, because that's what I'm supposed to say. Uh, thank you. Thank you all very much. And uh, I'll see you real soon, YouTube subscribers.